Hello, everybody. This is Nicole from the We Have No Cares podcast. Uh, before you get to this week's episode, which is absolutely terrific, uh, very, very funny stuff, with very little football content, so, uh, you know, obviously a great improvement on normal. Um, we just got a, a little appeal on behalf of the Gorgie City Farm. Now, if you're a Hearts fan, if you've ever been anywhere near Tynecastle, you'll know just what a vital part of the community Gorgie City Farm is. Uh, it's a wonderful project. Um, if you if you went to school anywhere near Edinburgh, the chances are you visited Gorgie City Farm when you were in primary school and it was the greatest day of your life. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that more kids have that fantastic day, that fantastic access, and make sure that the community cute, continues to enjoy something as wonderful as Gorgie City Farm. Uh, and also they uh, employ Fridgy, podcast favourite Fridgy, and keep him off the streets. So, I mean, if there's any greater work that can be done for humanity than uh, keeping Fridgy in gainful employment, then I don't know what it is. But still, yes, uh, they have hit some hard times. Uh, they do need £100,000 to remain open. So fundraising efforts are out and about. If you would like to make a donation, you can text... Uh, farm 44 that's f-a-r f-a-r-m 44 uh, followed by uh, the amount in pounds that you wish to donate so for example farm 44 pound sign 5 text that to 70070 you can also visit uh, justgiving.com forward slash gorgie city farm association uh, or just visit their website gorgiecityfarm.org.uk for all the ways that you can support the fantastic Gorgie City Farm. Thank you for your patience. On with the show. Schedule. Just when you least expect it, jumping out of the shadow of the last episode, two episodes in a week. What a bloody podcast we are. Oh, yes, yes, we're really gathering momentum now, guys. Right and ready to get in right to the thick of the season. Yep. Oops. No. Yay. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. But, you know, we have got the best guests in. We've got the... We've got I'm telling Fridger you said that. <laughs> He'll... Well, yeah, he you better listen. tell him because he won't listen. No. <laughs> We've got uh, we've got Jordan. The Jason's back. <laughs> hey, Jason. <laughs> we've got the uh, heart social media expert. You've been keeping an eye on all the emojis. I have, yes. Excellent. We'll, we'll come back to you for your emoji corner yeah. later on. But he's drinking Lambrini today. I'm actually drinking Sparkling Perry. Yeah, well, we yeah, well, we're keeping the tradition alive. You're on Lambrini. I, t- I chose uh, strawberry Lambrini. Is it? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Great. Oh, what, 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 what are they made of? <laughs> Human bones. <laughs> it sounds like a That's clash of heads between toys. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> uh, and also Ian Greenhill's own. Hello. Hi. I'm drinking Wicked Iron Brew. Mm. Iron Brew. That's the game. There you go. Yeah. yeah. That's why. That's when you introduce a masculine drink into this. <laughs> Wicked Iron Brew. Yeah. Yeah. And Robert's here. Hi. I'm drinking cider because I'm pretty much one-dimensional. Yeah, <laughs> you know you are. Robert's Robert's a wee bit grumpy today because he hurt his ankle playing football earlier. I, I literally said on the way down, I'm not grumpy at all. That's sore, man. Is that the sore? <laughs> That's tough, man. Yeah, go. Ian, Ian just tried to test that, <laughs> like a like I don't know, like a disability assessment of <laughs> him. I think you're fit to work. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Well, I was trying to craft a narrative, but uh, you know, you're not into that. No, so no, you... not in the slightest, man. Carry on. <laughs> Wow, that's the sound of a grumpy man. No, no. <laughs> I'm not grumpy. <laughs> anyway, right, so, only a, a relative paucity of matches for us to cover here. Only only two, and only one from the seniors. Yep. Uh, we're going to touch briefly on the Youth Cup final between uh, the Hearts Babies and the Motherwell Toddlers. Yep. Uh, just to get the age disparity in there. <laughs> that was good, man. I, I yeah. like that, yeah. The, the exciting thing about this is that uh, Jordan has no idea I've no what idea. happened in this game. I saw the link the other day on the forum. It was like, Hearts versus Motherwell. And I was like, I should never clicked on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I should really check. And loads of times I was like, wonder what the score is. And then I thought, nah. I don't wonder what the score is. You just let your life go on. <laughs> I, just let, I just lived the rest I, of my life. I actually don't know what the score was. I know. So I want you guys to tell us what happened without giving away the score. Right. And then we'll guess what the score was. Right. Right. That's, well, 
Because it... <laughs> how did the game start? <laughs> how did it start? What was the atmosphere like in the arena? Where was it played? Hamden Park. Hamden. Okay, cool. Okay, I was Home there. Of Queen's Park. Yep. Yep. Hamden, right, that's Hamden right. Park. Uh, with did the... they get the money for that? Uh, yeah, Queen's well, they, they get they like get, a... No, it's just like an annual rent. Yeah. They yeah. Get, I don't think it's even rent. I think they get it for free. Do they? Because they've always played there, yeah. And so it's so. their stadium? No, it's yeah. Park Stadium and the SFA rent it off them, don't they? So, have they got money for them? I have no they... idea. We need to... Look no one's stuff. asking the big questions. <laughs> <laughs> but are... if they own it, surely they get the money for renting it to gigs? Maybe they don't own it. I don't know. So when Brian Adams comes to play at Hamden, mm -hmm. who's getting the money? Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Who does he play for? <laughs> <laughs> Motherwell, yeah. Motherwell. He scored Motherwell's third. <laughs> so that wraps up our look at Hearts versus Motherwell in the Youth Cup final. What do you think the score was, Jordan? 3 1 to Brian Adams. <laughs> but the, uh, 2 0 Hearts. At the end of the no, day, penalties. Brian Adams was really. <laughs> just shouting football things. <laughs> Offside. He's 5 5, 4 4 4. Uh, no, great. Um, yeah, well, it, it was at hand in with uh, a, a, an attendance roughly equivalent to uh, a Hibs semi final. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. About 2,000 people there, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, what was the atmosphere like, Robert? Uh, Motherwell actually brought their young team and they had a drum. Uh, so the Motherwell fans were making a racket and the Hearts fans were all just like. Hearts fans. Hearts fans, mate. Yeah. <laughs> did, 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 best and not, winning. not one song. It was basically <laughs> at one stage, everyone just looked round to their left. Because someone like whispered the fact that mm -hmm. Gary Locke was there, and everyone's like, "Where?" <laughs> <laughs> and right, right enough, he was there. Yeah. Actually, the you reminded me of something that, that that will get Jordan's interest. The the camera, the camera, the camera, the camera saw uh, um, uh, Robbie and Steve Crawford sitting in the crowd, and uh -huh. Crawford was wearing a beanie and some like slightly distressed jeans, and just generally dressing about uh, two decades younger than he actually should. <laughs> so, uh, what was Robbie wearing today? Oh yeah, what was that all about? Get her vibe that. Like it was. I don't jacket, think jeans, any and other shoes. manager. Yeah, like there's no other manager in the world who'd be wearing that. No, it's an odd it's thing like to it's, wear it's, as a football manager. He's it's creating like his own guest niche. list for why not. And <laughs> just like, or owns why not? Yeah. Or like maybe got a part share in it or something. So right. you say, did you say it was jacket and jeans? It was like jacket, jeans, jumper, shirt, not tie. I don't think. Mm. And the Bergerac sort of, look. It was a funny, <laughs> and funny like old fancy trainers, fancy yeah. Yeah. velvety trainers. Oh, see, see, that's that's what saves him from a Phil Clarkson. Mm. Fancy trainers, <laughs> yeah. fancy trainers. And he always looks like he's just put moisturiser on. Like he's got a sort of sheen. He's got. A, he's got. A, yeah. 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 Like, but just just done. Yeah. Out the shower, moisturiser. Coconut oil not, in the hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He has recently managed to uh, like really step up his game when getting his hair cut short and still keeping it looking good because mm. that was a real weakness for him over the yeah. last couple of seasons. But I think he's sort of stepped off that. He has yeah. short, long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it still seems like a man with long hair, but it's mm. actually not that long. Yeah. It's, mm. like, it's like the acceptable face of mullets. Yeah. <laughs> and you forget about the nose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's a powerful is, nose. It's just fucked mm, like. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beak. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you think the score from this Youth Cup final was? <laughs> I think it was 4-2 oh, to two. Motherwell. That's, 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 that's closer to the bull. That is close. So yeah. Motherwell won. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did. did. Yeah, they did. I'm afraid they to say. To the that yeah. Then. Uh, well, I'm afraid to say... 4-1. Uh, well, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they scored some sham goals, mainly down to uh, Kelby Mason, proving that he's not ready for the step Attorney up. Attorney at law. Yeah. Attorney <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, he, he kind of flapped at the first one and the guy tapped it in. And uh, yeah, he didn't cover himself in glory. And then Hart scored a couple of goals. Yeah, yeah, well. Jordan they, McGee scored good a free kick. Good goal, yeah. Da Daddy was an uh, dis dispossessed his man. Daddy was an who never wears hair gel. Yeah, a yeah. oh, lot's with that. It's so dry. It's, so, it's just like he's just, he's just woken up. up, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, Jordan McGee has made a terrible decision to have some tram lines cut into his hair. What like, is tram lines? Well, like, just like like right across the parking, and then another oh, shorter one just underneath it. He's fucking lost it, man. <laughs> he, his head's been turned by barbers and agents. And it's yeah, just, yeah. He's not going to be a Hearts player much longer. <laughs> just uh, it just goes into the bar and goes, give me a give me a two thousand sixteen Gary Locke. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, he does look like Gary Locke, that's a shame. Anyway, Hearts lost 5 2. Oh, yeah. oh bad. 5 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, um, like I say, their first couple of goals from Motherwell were, were Shanners, the goalkeeper mm -hmm. sold them, but then they scored some pretty special ones, lots yeah, of dancing around. Scott Leach, remember Scott Leach, who yes. used to play for Hearts and Motherwell? His son came on and scored, Robbie Leach. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of sons, was the, the referee today 
Hugh Dallas's son brother. No. Yeah, it's like the Chuckle Brothers. Yeah. Is it his son or is it his brother? <laughs> it wasn't the fucking same age. It wasn't even him. Was it not? It was Alan Muir. Oh, oh was that? Because Dallas. No. We were. I was he's, like. He's not ready for the big time yet. The the younger Dallas. Really? No, he's, he's managed lots of big games now. They definitely Has said. Yeah. I'm sure it was. No, it was Alan Muir. What a, what a weird household. <laughs> to, to, to grow up and be yeah, like oh, Hugh oh. Dallas Alan Muir <laughs> Alan Muir probably lived with him yeah. so, so, we're, so we're, we're agreed that Hugh Dallas and Alan Muir are the younger Dallas' dads that's yeah, what we think so that's uh, what, or brother it? brother dad brother dad because <laughs> well I was led to believe for the whole match that the guy in refereeing was Hugh Dallas' son and then he got near me and I was like me. look how old he is <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like oh, What's look how old he is and 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 then I've got he's very old and he doesn't look like Hugh Dallas at all oh, yeah. but it's definitely him it makes well, much more sense that wasn't his son <laughs> definitely does <laughs> I didn't even think anything was weird about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, whatever it's probably looks like the mum <laughs> yeah Referees that are different breed. They are. They, well, they must be. Because imagine your dad being Hugh Dallas, right? Taking all that shit, all that hassle, and then you're at home as his son being like, siphoned through want the nail balls. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm next. Dislodging <laughs> coins from his dad's face. Yeah. <laughs> and then being like, I'm up for it. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> give, do me, that. give me some of that. I'll step in, dad. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Huh? Yeah. You've got to be anything other it's than that. A psychopath. But I hope Andrew Dallas has a good game wherever he's <laughs> referring. <laughs> whatever Andrew Dallas is. <laughs> Tonight or today, wherever you are, mate. Oh, everything's okay. I'm, I'm just glad you brought the knowledge of knowing what his first name is rather than Dallas. Hughes <laughs> <laughs> son. Dallas. Dallas. Well done, <laughs> Dallas. Yeah. 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 Right, great. Well, that's that covered in depth. That's, that's so all we need to do. It was 5 2 to Motherwell. Yeah. It was 5 2 to Motherwell. Hearts uh, clearly Gary Lock won. was there. <clears throat> Yeah. Hearts clearly won on the having very tall players. Uh, well, scale. no, we had two very tall players, and the rest of them were midgets. Yeah, the but they, they Mother they didn't have up. any very tall players. The striker was quite big. Faulkner, I believe his yeah. name was. And they had Cadden running yeah. around, who was very good in the senior game last weekend. So yeah. that was a bit. Nice. Who were the tall guys for Hearts? Daniel Bauer. Daniel mm-hmm. Bauer. And Russell McLean. Rusty, I believe he is called. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Signed him from Aloha mm-hmm. Athletic. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about do that. They, do they have quiffs, both of them? Oh yeah, yeah, blonde quiffs. Nah. Very Aryan. Yeah. yeah. Very slender as well. Yeah. Was yeah. he the guy that came on at half time today? Who? Daniel Bauer. Yeah. Daniel Bauer. Ah. Who refused to speak. <laughs> yeah. The mute. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Bauer, the mute. To be clear, he was doing the half time draw, folks. Well, yeah, just <laughs> only <laughs> just <laughs> only just doing the half time draw. As little as contractually obliged to do, I would say. He scraped through it. <laughs> Come on, like it was a very professional performance. He pulled those numbers out of the hat. I don't I didn't even see him pull the numbers out. All right. He yeah. refused to speak, and then Scott guy was like, "The numbers, this. You've won a two. How did the what did the conversation go like between? Scott Wilson and him before he was like oh yeah I'm not speaking by the way <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about what? <laughs> yeah I'm not speaking sorry <laughs> you've told me that's <laughs> under the bus here like tall man <laughs> we've been rehearsing the sketch all morning <laughs> no not <speaking. laughs> so, I've had a, a complete change of heart <laughs> <laughs> not for me <laughs> yeah James mm. yeah so uh, probably not a future captain Daniel Bauer no no probably not no. I don't know though Kelby Mason though Kelby Mason, That's yeah. a fucking cracking name. It is. It is. That's a cracking goal. Where's he from? Scotland, mate. Where's he? Yeah. 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 If it matters to you, it matters to Kelby Mason. <laughs> it does sound, it does sound oddly like... None of them feel like first names. <laughs> it, it sounds like one of those players <laughs> who has come over from South Africa in the 80s. Yeah. 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 Like the guys who are sort of like technically Scottish, but his name's <laughs> Kelby Mason. Yeah. 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 Kelby, though. Anyway. Can you beat it? What was the South African... Uh, Burton O'Brien. Burton O'Brien, yeah. Bobo. That's all right, though. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Burton O'Brien. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Bombs yeah. over bad death. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bombs, yeah. Bombs over bad death. <laughs> <laughs> just, just dropping a bit of outcast knowledge on you. <laughs> Good. Did you like it? I did like uh, it, yeah. Good. Great. So, Celtic turned up today. <laughs> yeah, they did. Aye, the fucking pricks. I hate Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my favourite. No, no, they're not my favourite people. But, um, uh, you know, I like him. Well, today me and Simon before the game were discussing how this was just a bit of a freebie because we're so end of the season like losing to them would be a bit of a uh, and if we got anything out of the game that would be great but yeah. we did not get anything out of that game no we didn't no no no, no. no. 
Uh, what we did get was uh, like the folk around us in the stands. I'm sure everywhere, everyone's got a story about somebody being overly riled up. But um, the guy in front of us was shouting at the referee before the match kicked off. Because, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, who the hell's the son? <laughs> he just, Who's it Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> he just felt that the, the huddle was taking too long. He's like, come on, you're the referee, get them tell. <laughs> it's like... Well, Whoa! No. <laughs> There's stuff that annoys people, people man. It's like, amazing. You could write a list as long as your arm. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that, look like, man. Guys! Of the things that annoy people in the crowd, man. Like, mm. Why can you be that annoyed? We got an amazing guy beside us. Yeah. So in the first half, there was no one sitting in front of us. And then we decided to pretend we were the managers. <laughs> Because it was like we were on the sideline. No, scout. Scout. Oh, no, this and, is... We've and got every a time. Pen, right? So we're thinking, right, we've got an Italian... Fr- no, that started off with... How li- Like, what would we need to do? This is like hearing an eight-year-old describing the play date he had. <laughs> <laughs> like, so excited he can't remember all the toys. So the first thing was, we were like, how easy would it be to convince people we were a scout here? And then we're like, I reckon just a notepad. <laughs> just a notepad, and then only write about one player. But bear in mind that Jordan dresses like a Scottish Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was going to say, I, I have seen the people who are actually scouts in football. Well, they, do not fit and then I was like, like what do you look like? You're a scout for it. He was like, Galatasaray. <laughs> I think, I think you look like you're scouting for a hot dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But then we got... <laughs> but I accepted that, right? So I was like, right, next thing... I bet you did. We've, <laughs> we should get our Italian friend to come along and bring his AS Roma notepad and just, <laughs> just write about John Souter to see if we can get it in the paper that Roma are going to sign him. I reckon it'd be easy as anything. Because there's idiots around you who are just like, oh, look at that guy, he's Italian. Italian. Wait, and if he's actually Italian, Italian as well. He is actually yeah, Italian. Yeah, yeah. So Even though his like, name is Eric. Yeah, yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah. Right, okay. Just but but how, would he, how would he convey that it was Italian? Would he be like speaking to you, he's like lightly in Italian? Oh, it's, it's, it's kind sounds of, Italian. It's kind of obvious. Yeah, yeah he just sounds Italian. He looks that. Italian. Well, yes, the ragazza. And he's stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, That kind of vibe. But the the thing that gets me, the Eric Roman notebook, I've got to imagine it's only Eric Roman on the front, unless there's like a watermark on every page. No, it would be, yeah, it would be letter. Letter. I'll let it hit every page. Oh, wow. Right. That's just a ripper get off, fold yeah. it in the pocket, and accidentally drop one. Yeah. Sign suitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Italian, but with like an English <laughs> translation underneath. Of course. <laughs> So, just, yeah. like every time he, he turns the page just like waft it in front of his face <laughs> like speaking that. of notebooks there was a security guy today who oh, yeah. had a notebook and he was he just looked at someone and went <laughs> and he was drawing on his pad yeah. I imagine well, like, like an, e, an, an e-fit of some <laughs> guy <laughs> just, just, get a just fucking like, and then he just looked yeah. at it and went mm-hmm. and <laughs> then like flipped Top, it in his pocket top get... pocket as well which I don't think Stuart had. Mm. Well, you know, do you think the fans just like draw me like one of your French hooligans? <laughs> 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 yes, that was first half. First half, we sat one row back from the front. Okay. Second half, we established that no one was sitting in that front row. Yeah, we usually have these guys that look like they're from the, what's it called? The Sons, Sons of, of Anarchy. Anarchy, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So big knuckleheads. Yeah. <laughs> big but they weren't, they weren't there today. Oh. Yes, yeah, so there's three of them. Two supreme, no, there's like super knucklehead who just like all yeah. the shirts. Mother famous, corn the famous. famous. So like the supreme wizard of this. He's got a neck uh, tattoo of a gander. sword. Yeah, neck tattoo of sword. Then next to him is Knucklehead Two. Mm-hmm. He could be in any eighties movie as a bad guy, as a henchman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, never. But like never number two henchman, yeah. not number one. I was going to say, do you yeah. think he knows he's number two? Yeah, he'll know. He <laughs> does, there's a hierarchy established here. Yeah. Deep think, in his yeah. soul, he knows. <laughs> he doesn't speak. And then the guy next to him, <laughs> he never speaks to him. And then the guy He's next to him, Daniel Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> so we took their seats in the second half because they weren't there. Risky. But <laughs> this little guy, this little boy sat next to us. And I think he thought we were something else other than what we were. He a missed. couple of dandies. <laughs> and we were, so we were sitting there going, love you, Soapy. And stuff like that. And he was like, fuck you, because he's rich, aren't you? wee dick. And we were like, oh, man, we don't do that. You know, we, we're not doing that. And then he was being horrible to his mum. We just leant over and went, just be nice to your mum. She's the only one you've got, man. And he was just like, how hating we, it. How wee is this wee boy? He was like, like well, oh. I don't know, eight, eight and twelve. <laughs> Anywhere in that sort of ballpark figure. So, like, like so he could play with advanced Lego bits then, basically. Oh, he's, he's, he's in the eight to twelve. He was in a he, he's graduated from Duplo. But then he was yeah. he, he was clearly he was a he was a child, but he was a he was a dickhead. He was an asshole child. <laughs> and Jordan's yeah. just about to have a baby boy. I am. And we were and he was like 
What if, what if he's just like him? <laughs> fucking hate him. What if, what, if, hate him. <laughs> what if little Jason grows up with <laughs> Jason Jr. <laughs> I had this fear. I was like, imagine that's him. I couldn't even look at him. I was like, you're such an asshole. And it was like sitting next to a 12 year old version of a future dickhead. Yeah. You're just like, oh, you're going to be the guy in the crowd who's an asshole everyone hates. But mm-hmm. you're now with us. And he, he just misjudged the situation. Yeah. He was yeah. like, I'm going to go sit with those older boys, be hard with them. And he was like, fuck you, Craig, get up, Craig, on your fucking arsehole. We were like, maybe he's, no. maybe he's genuinely just hurt himself. Yes. I think he has. <laughs> like, so, if his it. career's over, you're going to feel so bad. <laughs> then we were like, let's try and convince him to run in the park. Because so we <laughs> spent the whole second half trying to convince this little boy to run in the park. We're like, run in the pitch. <laughs> he was like, if, if, if we <laughs> score, we're going to run in the pitch. <laughs> And then he was like, yeah, let's do it. And then <laughs> we scored, and we scored. And I hope it's on telly. It's just Jordan and I trying to lift this little boy and coerce him to run on the pitch. Go, go man, go. go. And he was like, oh, 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 should I go? Go. You're going to be a wonderful <laughs> Oh, James. Christ. So, yeah, so like one, three, one. Who's uh, getting the songs? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, do you know the score of the game today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Five two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad we covered that. Okay. So, so I don't know why I want to try and drag it back to tactics, but there was interesting things. We started with a a three five two. Well, sort of a three five two, a lopsided four four two. Um, Juwan came in. And then a fuck sided four five one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just did everything. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Well, on paper, it was a back three with Juwan as left wing back, Cowie as right wing back. We have oh, to assume. Cowie. Oh, Cowie. Yeah. Cowie, yeah. man. He didn't he have a strong It's like impact. he's got a brain virus. <laughs> I feel so sorry for him, man. I, honestly, I feel like he's my son and I watch him. Like, I feel. And like a Hugh Dallas Alan Muir yeah. kind of way. Are you just seeing sons everywhere you go? Who I'm in that vibe now that I'm like, I just, I'm like, oh, this could be my mad son. And then I'm like, oh, maybe Don Kelly's going to be my son and he's going to be, he's going to make a living from football, but he's not going to be good. He's become a millionaire <laughs> from playing football. Just let that he sink was, in. He was really good up to a stage. Yeah, yeah. Like he, maybe two or three years ago. He, he definitely was great. He played as a yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't look out of place. Really? Yeah. yeah. I reckon Absolutely. give him some fitness. Play him in the middle of the park. We'll see the Don Cowie that we all want. He's want. quite fondly remembered at Watford. Yeah, and Cardiff. I, I really, I'm, I'm on his side. We, we want just... to make a film similar to the Zidane film, right. which is just following <laughs> Don Kerry around for but a whole Instead game. of like a Mogwai soundtrack, Shut. it's just sad trombones. Misplaced pass after misplaced pass. See when he did that free kick against someone. Oh my god, yeah. It was it a couple of months ago? Yeah, it just it was Kilmarnock, and he, he basically like he turned in like five times looking for a pass, and it passed it straight to Kilmarnock, oh, where he was two yards away, and he was like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> there was one. <laughs> Cowie- because we, we, we sit right at the front so we couldn't see what was happening in the bottom corner we're like what's happened Jordan stood up oh Kiwi's just fallen over for no reason <laughs> but it's like, horror, guys. I'm just imagining like racing around it's like my boy my beautiful boy oh, no no it's, it's fine <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I have to assume that uh, Patterson wasn't fit enough for the full 90 yeah, minutes. Yeah, basically, uh, after 90 minutes against Motherwell, where he didn't play well, uh, Robin Nielsen went, nah, we're not going to start you this time, mate. Yeah, so, Sorry, pal. So, Kelly, which is theoretically all right for a wing-back, but he really didn't uh, impose himself. He looks like a guy who hasn't played in about two months, which is what he is. But we also made an interesting um, adjustment. In six months, am I right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's rubbish. You're not right. <laughs> Great. Uh, we made an interesting adjustment. Like, like, it, it, it turned out Celtic were lining up sort of a four-three-three with Kazim Richards on the left wing. So uh, Suter like basically played in the right back position. Yeah. But we kept Juon sort of forward as a as a left wing back, which. Um, allowed like uh, Patrick Roberts to have his sort of like only two flashes in the first half when uh, Juwan really wasn't aware of where Patrick Roberts was at all. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, that's the drawback of a three-five-two though, because th- that mm-hmm. should have been Augustine. Really, Roberts in that instance is Augustine's man, but he was drawn inside by I think it was Scott Brown making a run through the middle, so it, it exposed that side of the pitch for us. But Patrick Roberts. He didn't do anything apart from score when he was given the ball. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, he really didn't offer much. He, he had a really tame shot at Alexander at one stage, but you know the mini Messi shit can get wrapped up right now. Yeah, he, do, he, he didn't have a huge impact apart from scoring a goal, which makes it very similar to his last game against Hearts. Yeah, pretty much. You know what? Needs, you just need to get rid of that mini Messi thing. 
Yeah. Because that's a stupid thing anyway. Because it's, it's Missy's kiss already tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I hear people say that, I'm like, yeah, it's like that so it's a mini, so, mini, so, yeah, like, so small. small. Like, like, it's just a rubber, just say like a new Messi. Yeah. Or like a rubbish or yeah, <laughs> But like, don't say mini because he's already small anyway. I'm just draws up images yeah. of like a, a weird Russian doll situation. Yeah. yeah. Like a house. And so then yeah. baby Messi. Yeah. Baby so Messi, Messi Ryan Gold. And then inside that, that's yeah, Brian <laughs> Gold. Inside <laughs> Brian Gold is <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Roberts. <laughs> inside Patrick <laughs> Roberts. It's Daniel Bauer. It's Daniel Bauer. <laughs> inside Daniel Bauer is that dickhead we were sitting next to today. <laughs> I would love to hear the football crowd chanting, we've got Matryoshka Messi. Matryoshka <laughs> <laughs> Messi. That, that would be incredible. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's not... Well, I suppose he's probably good, Patrick Roberts. He sort of looks like he's a good looks player. good. Yeah, yeah, he is good. He's yeah. good. But probably. he's also young, and he's just kind of... Yeah, meh, yeah, meh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, an incredible thing happened like just sort of two minutes into the game. Scott Brown committed a foul and got booked for it. Yeah, it was never a booking as well. Well done, Andrew Dallas. <laughs> Wherever That's you a are. Great call. We are all Andrew um, Dallas. Yeah, no, he, he kind of he hit Kitchen a bit late. I think he was just trying to put his mark on the game, um, and especially to Kitchen. Not like him. Mm. Uh, especially on Kitchen, who's our more yeah. industrial midfielder. 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 Shit. Perry Kitchen is hard as fuck. I swear to God, man. You know how many Instagram posts? Two. Two. I know. What one. a fucking badass, man. Follows what no one. They? No they, one. They follows he follows no one. That is a great, great life for him. No one. Follows no one. Even no one. That's, that's Kanye West like follows one person. They've got, that is badass there's, Instagram use. Like. There's a picture of him like, holding the scarf above his head, and there's a picture of Edinburgh Castle. That's your fucking lot, mate. That's it. <laughs> and there's like six months between those photos. <laughs> yeah. So it's like he understands Instagram. Perry Kitchen cares not, about tackles, not content. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I think he's like going around seeing things where like, yeah, it's pretty, but it's it's not Instagram print. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's got a third one now, which, oh. is a, which is a regram of his missus taking a selfie of them before the Player of the Year Awards. Oh, I, I saw that. That's really good knowledge. Yeah. That is Instagram pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. His, his missus. What do you think his favourite filter is? I'd say Brannon. Uh, I reckon he filters outside of the gram. Oh, you think so he does, Visco? I think he does his Visco filter in and then takes it in Instagram. Instagram is only for serving content. You guys... Are so wrong. I've never seen a more no filter man in my entire life. You're Perry Kitchen, no, he right. is a no filter man. I don't know if if anything at a push maybe rise because it brightens up the picture. But that that's about it. That's three photos. You're right. Yeah, man. Him and his him and his message in a yeah. what looks like a hotel. Yep. What's his followers to likes ratio? Followers to like ratio is he has nine hundred and twelve followers. Oh, he's now following one hundred and four people. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's oh, oh. changed. He's not following me. No, he's not following me yet. What is this? Who's he following? Um, 104, like that. That's a bad number of followers. Yeah, yeah. that's not too. That's not Follow enough to be like. I'm really into Instagram. Yeah, it's not Follow too easy. Follow Messi. Which one? <laughs> uh, the real one. Oh, nah, right. that one. Uh, follows the outer shell, yeah, obviously. Does yeah. he follow In and Out Burger? <laughs> he follows Chipotle. Ah, of course. Oh, he I follows Tim McGraw. Just get Tim McGraw. Just get He's a country home. singer. Cool. See. Oh no, he follows Garth Brooks as well. See, my worry, right? Uh oh. Yeah, <laughs> my worry this is, this is a bad not, way. Oh, Jesus Christ, Perry. <laughs> what if he's not the good American? Yeah. <laughs> That's he's what, what he's a he Trump out, guy. He's a Trump guy and he's like, I'm into guns and shit. Do you reckon he's a Trumper? I don't know. Yeah. But what if he is? He's from Indiana. What does that tell us? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't it know means that he grew up really liking know. basketball. Oh, NASCAR? Right, okay. Do they like NASCAR there? Yes. Well, the yeah, the Indy Five Hundred's there. That's that. Is that NASCAR? Oh. No, 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 no. That's like more Formula One cars. That's not NASCAR. It's cars. Don't know, mate. Yeah, cars he owns down, a yellow something. Lamborghini, or used to. Yeah, he mm. did. It's a touchy subject. It's uh, it, the Indiana people are called Hoosiers. 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 He's a Hoosier. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Take me to church. <laughs> <laughs> or, wake up, Mr. Ray. <laughs> the Hoosiers. Yeah. Oh, they were the fucking worst, man. Falls Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all I got here, guys. Cracker uh, Barrel, that's kind of like a furniture shop, isn't it? No, you're Sounds thinking racist. of Crate and because... Barrel. Right, okay. Cracker Barrel, apparently it's a Pottery sport. Barn. And you're thinking of Pottery Barn. Bed uh, Bath and Beyond. Uh, no, apparently they sell the body shop. <laughs> they sell sort of like what looks like sweet corn, maybe. No, okay, right. <laughs> they sell sweet corn. <laughs> he loves that sweet corn. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to trick Perry Kitchen into thinking this is a, a an actual Hearts affiliated show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get him on. Yeah, yeah. Just him, the yeah. Here, we've got you loads of crackers. <laughs> <laughs> 
look, here's our friend, the scout from AS Roma. <laughs> and the Who's Here's are playing in the corner. <laughs> Just to make you feel at home, guys. Welcome, Perry. Welcome, Perry. <laughs> oh, he was very good today. He was very good today. Oh, yeah. His girlfriend's account is private. So we can't find out any more about him through that. Sorry, we'll get there, man. We'll yeah, get there. we'll get there. We'll just befriend her. I'll go see what he's up to on Twitter. <laughs> oh, he's much more active on there. <coughs> That's where he follows no one. Twitter. Ah, mm. right. With okay. 7,000 followers. Holy That's shit. That's pretty baller. That's DC ratio. Nation right there. We, we were discussing this earlier. Surely there is only one Perry Kitchen. I don't know. I feel like America is the sort of place that could give birth to many Perry's kitchens. Mm. Mary, Mary, many, Mary, many Perry's kitchens. Many Perry kitchens, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Perry kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, I but, hope you know, listens to this. On the uh, on, on this day, wow. the birth of our saviour, Perry Kitchen. He was uh, <laughs> he was very good today. He was like, great. He yeah. uh, like certainly had his best game on the ball. <laughs> For, for Hearts, mm. like uh, in last week's pod, as I'm sure you remember, guys, uh, he was. Uh, I, w- I was complaining that he's uh, not not a great passer. He kind of slows down attacking moves. But today, like as well as doing all his uh, winning balls and uh, out muscling players off the ball, he uh, he was laying it off quite nicely. Like first time, quickly kept things moving very nicely. What, what I like the most, like obviously, his ball retention, and that was a lot better today. It, it is the best he's played for us, I mm-hmm. think. But what I like the most is the fact he completely played Beaton out of the game. Like yeah, Jim, Jim was on Brown, Kitchen was on Beaton, and that was their, that was their instructions, and it really told because Jim fucking clattered Scott Brown about five times, which by the way, Arnold Jim, you earned that Player of the Year award. Um, but yeah, Kitchen, like Beaton's a very good player, but didn't give him a second, didn't give him a breath. It was great. Yeah, and Prince mostly ignored McGregor, and it made no difference. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cal McGregor played ninety minutes. The yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know who he is. I still don't know. Honestly, who he is. I have played no ninety idea, minutes like, today. Like, yeah. No, no well, he did. He did score a goal today. Apparently, he was onside. Hey. We, we're recording this right after the game, people. But uh, apparently, that offside goal was actually very onside. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> fucking Remje Selic. Ah, oh, we beat us. <laughs> <laughs> but we won the important match here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What yeah. number was he? Forty-two. That was the guy that I was like, I have honestly. He looks no like idea. it would work in like Subway or something. Yeah, he, look, he looks like a, a sandwich artist. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I have yeah. no idea who that guy is. Talking about numbers, I was really disappointed. Like, cause I, for a moment in the game, I thought uh, Tierney was wearing 69, but he's not. He's no. wearing 63. <laughs> but that looks like he. that's the first game he played in we have 1963. A bit he looks like he would be from the 60s. You're going to have to take me through this. And so he, he played... Black boots right, and stuff. Hear yeah. us out. So yeah. he's, he played his first game in 1963. Right. Then he got cryogenically frozen. Right. right. And Even then the he got thawed well, out. It's like Kieran Tierney. It's not and a name like, from 2016. Yeah, not, no, he's no. not. That's, a, that's like a 1960. Feels name. like a traditional player, which I like. He wears black boots. Like, on a football note, I think he's marvellous. I really, really like him. Yeah. I'm glad Scotland have captain. I questioned his input into the Scotland squad before, but apparently he was born on the Isle of Man, which means he could play for any of the home nations so yeah well done Gordon uh, or he could play for the Isle of Man in the Island games so you know he's a he's a traitor to his people <laughs> he could do that tra- to the Manx S- speaking of weird oh, nationality fuck. folk uh, Callum Patterson might be getting called up by South Africa well, no way yeah, yeah his just parents are South African no it's his grand his granddad is oh, South significant and he grew up in South Africa and he was born in London yeah so he could play for England South Africa or Scotland fuck um, just play for Scotland he's really good he's definitely yeah. going to play for Scotland but like, essentially the is it what uh, South African national coach um, he's been looking at uh, let, let's say let's say it's uh, Mark Fish because that's the only <laughs> South African player I can remember oh, of yeah. him. Oscar Pistorius yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I've got uh, uh, to pesh with Shabalala <laughs> <laughs> there's the <some> Mandela <laughs> uh, <laughs> good Mandela impression thanks bro <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, why the fuck you lying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, apparently they're, 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 like, they're thinking of calling him up, but I don't think he'll do it. I wouldn't I have thought he's so. He's pretty much guaranteed a Scotland cap at the end. He's a mad bastard. He is mad. Did you see there's when he got something. put up front today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he was just it. like, rah, and like winding did people up. It's, like, it's like he'd gone through one of the stars in Mario Kart and he's just gone fucking mental. Well, did, did you, you see, see when he had like a Wanma? No, I didn't see When Wanma went down against, I was thinking, right, someone should do a thing where we just time how long he's on the ground just to make it embarrassing for him 
So if we're like, oh, you, were, you played 90 minutes, man. You spent you 64 of those lying <laughs> down. It's, it's embarrassing. Although he was, he, was, he was outgrounded today by Juwa Noshiniwa. Yes. Any, any time mm. anyone went near him, he went down. And that was a good face. twin today, though. Yeah. Yeah. It was he was, good he was the good. He was the good. Twin. It feels like. There I was think two it was both twins, to be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the other twin came on for like sort of spells in the match. But I think that was the reason Kerry was on to sort of deflect from Oshin yeah, Ewart. Yeah, we were thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> you think it was a political move? Yeah. Yeah. You think Don Cow's a patsy? <laughs> 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 we got in due and we thought, oh, shit, we need a phone guy. Get me Don Cowie. <laughs> yeah. Get me the phone. We can't, we can't get rid of him. We're paying a lot of money for him. We, we need, need a phone Don Cowie. We need Don Cowie at right wing back. <laughs> And it's interesting that you think the way to deflect attention from like the Nigerian jobs worth is to get in a good, honest Scottish laddie. It makes me think <laughs> good, honest Highlandman. Yeah. yeah. It makes me think that you're not really got your finger on the pulse of our sport. Is. is he super smart, Don Kiwi? Well, you see, apparently there was a, a, a teammates sort of, you know, on Soccer they used to do teammates. There was a thing like that for the Player of the Year awards, I've heard. And yeah, everyone said that Don Kiwi is the smartest man in the dressing room. I can see that. How is smart that? are we talking? Are we talking Graham Foot- Lasso, football smart? We're, yeah. like, I think, I think we're probably so talking footballer smart. Are we talking yeah. about like Clark Carlisle going on countdown and embarrassing himself? No. <gasps> Who was it was on recently? Uh, was it Jermaine Jennis? Oh, I can't see that on question time. No, it was on question time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was unbelievable. Didn't know what he was talking about. I hate I hate faux intellectual football. I know. It's like I'm. I can read, so I'm smarter than most footballers. <laughs> Although Stuart Armstrong, who came on for Celtic today, yeah, he's, 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 he's doing he's a law degree as well as being a professional footballer. See, that's I'm that's into that. Yeah. yeah, that's my bag. I, I'm a huge fan of Stuart Armstrong. He's he got great hair. He's what's Martin O'Neill's degree? It's like criminology or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Martin O'Neill. I was like, Michael O'Neill does no, 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 no. Martin O'Neill. No, yeah. he, he has a degree. Michael, Michael O'Neill has spent some time at the bar, though, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> okay. Those rumors are unfounded. <laughs> unfounded. <laughs> well, well uh, yeah. So some footballers can count. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Good stuff. Right. Um, so Celtic did score a goal. Colin Kazim mm-hmm. Kazim. Yeah. Ah, uh, Serena Williams. <laughs> it was an excellent Predator. goal. <laughs> yeah, Predator. Predator. <laughs> Classic football crowd moment. I had a guy in front of us like shouting at Colin Kazim Richards for his terrible hair day. Bald as a coot. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> just, yeah. just laying I actually, I've got a lot of respect for Colin Kazim Richards here. I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm of, in I it. think it's fucking good. I had a that's moment like a that. Good, that's just a good black guy haircut. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. I had a moment like that where I was looking at him and I was like, fair play, man. You were your dreadlocks. Yeah. Like, just like. Use your dreadlocks and your passion yeah, and your stamping. Go on, yeah. yeah. I don't like him. It really annoyed me when he ran to the crowd and stuff, but. It's like, ah, fair play, you got dreadlocks. Yeah. Yeah. No, but they're good dreadlocks. Take I mean, balls they're not like, to have dreadlocks. Like, um, like Edgar Davitt's dreadlocks were never good. No. They were, they were too no. flat. Like, there's some, there's some volume, there's some shape. Three yeah. West. Rude Hewitt. Mm. Yeah, that's Interesting. Rude Hewitt. Rude Hewitt, yeah. yeah. They are some good dreadlocks. Yeah. 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 Very, 90s, very 90s dreadlocks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How old was Rude Hewitt when he was manager of Chelsea? 20s. Because I was seeing him learning, I was like, oh, now he seems like, now he seems like the age you'd manage a club. But it seems like ages ago he was a Chelsea manager. Yeah, I think he was like in his late thirties because it was him then Viali, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know young. about that because he was like early twenties in the late eighties. He was Chelsea and manager. He was on the Subutio like, box at one point. Like mid nineties, he was Chelsea Chelsea gaffer. He was, was it mid nineties. <laughs> yeah. Is it that long ago? Yeah. Because he looks. Where does the like, time go? Where does the time go? I know. So basically, Colin Kazim Richards is going to manage Chelsea in about five years. That's what That's we're saying. What we're He's only twenty nine, isn't he? Kazi Yeah, he's just a total waste of a skin. <laughs> I don't wow. know, he's quite well travelled. He's he's done more than the average English footballer. Yeah, yeah. Right. English Turkish footballer. <laughs> Yeah, ah, that's right. You had to change his name to Kazim Kazim, didn't you? Because yeah, it was to get a Turkish passport. It's yeah. like in, like it's the law in Turkey that if you're going to Can't be Turkish, call. you gotta have a Turkish name. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, like yeah. he 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 searched far and wide for the best Turkish name he could <laughs> and find. He already and he had found it. it. In his <laughs> <surname>. <laughs> it's already there. <laughs> but yeah, fair point. I mean, be, he's certainly very good at this level. Yeah. Very powerful. Yeah, he's, he's he's a proper athlete. He's like I've not. Until Callum Patterson came on today, I've never seen him lose a header in my entire life. He's got such a leap on him. And yeah, he just he bullied Suter in the first half a yeah. wee bit, and bullied uh, Kerry especially. Um, but in all fairness to Celtic... It was a good finish as well. His goal was shite defending. Well, well, I don't know about that. I mean, the build-up was very good. They moved it from side to side very quickly. Piece. His goal. 
You know what? Actually, I don't think it was. I said to you earlier, I thought it was a set piece, but it actually wasn't. They moved it from side to side quickly. I've missed it this. I've missed doing a podcast right yeah. after a game yeah. with no <laughs> replays or highlights whatsoever. I've no, missed this. It was. It was actually in play because it like it, the ball got moved sort of left to right, and then the the cross came over to the far post. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kazim chested mm-hmm. it and then hit it on yeah. the turn. Oh yeah. yeah. Blue stick was basically on the byline and then chipped over. That's right. Yeah. 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 Right as always. You should never, apart from the fact when I was wrong earlier, and that's what uh, sold <laughs> sold Rob the dummy. Yeah. He, he should never have been allowed that time ever should be allowed that time that amount of time in the box I think it was uh, bad yeah. but you know he took it down the chest it was a good finish fuck him well, that's what I've got to do now yes <laughs> now you have oh, no. now you must fuck it Jinx. that would be horrible I know, and well, I mean, you know that, that would be a, him. that would be a drawback of the hair and <laughs> 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 yeah. right there oh, <laughs> he's drowning in it he, yes, that's yeah, that's what happen. I'm getting at. Yeah. 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 Close that dressing room. You. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what has happened? Uh, yeah, in my head. <laughs> in, the dressing in, room in your head? No, it's in the Tim Castle <laughs> dressing rooms. In the home dressing room. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's slightly nicer. Yeah, you're like, oh, it. come come over the home dressing room. And then, oh, it all gets a little weird. Also, Come on, come have, on, check have, out our facilities. Have some Lamborghini. <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only sound you hear for like through the door. We never like a world's famous tenants lager. <laughs> oh, it's a horrible one. <laughs> Always stay on brand. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was fabulous. I really enjoyed that. Thanks. <laughs> First thing you said in about ten minutes is <laughs> you've been gearing up for that. I'm, yeah, I'm like a pop up. <laughs> <laughs> the magnificent thing is that it's earned you five hundred pounds. So that's <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, great. Um, so that was more or less the first half. Was that anything wait, else to my discuss? My favourite bit in the first half was okay. when Lee Griffiths like ran into the billboard. Some middle-aged man ran to the front uh, to give him abuse, and he just put his hand on the fan's like, <laughs> face, just touched, just him. touched him gently, and <laughs> laughed in his face. And the the fan clearly went. Oh, I've just been done. I was so like, oh, for the band, I was like, okay, oh, kind, kind of liked Lee Griffiths more than a, a Hearts fan in that moment. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, like, I've, I've, I've actually got some respect for Griffiths as a wind up because yeah. he's so fucking good at it. I was thinking, he's so about, good at it. It's thinking, like you yeah. sometimes just have to take a step back and just say, just well trained, yeah. man. It feels like it's turning on him, and where yeah. you're like, actually, apart from the whole racist thing, he's a good yeah. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, he's, he's a complicated figure. He's yeah. capable of moments of wit and, like, you know, being genuinely mm. generous to, like, you know, sort of sick children and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And he's also a terrible cunt. Mm. Yes, yes, he is. He's that guy you sort of think about, like, you know, you were at school with him. It's like, oh, I remember, I mind that time in class at that fucking hilarious thing. Ah, yeah, but then he got suspended for, yeah. like, racially abusing yeah. someone. And it's like, ah, it was funny, though. Yeah. <laughs> or you think about the funny thing he did in class, and then when you're, like, 10 years old, you're like, that probably really ruined the teacher's day. <laughs> like that kind of like, oh, it was amazing. Remember when he threw like this stuff at the teacher? And you're like, oh, that teacher was probably a guy. Yeah. He's probably your a dad. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Mr. Porter. In, <laughs> yeah, in the cold light of day when you're like 28, you're like, oh. Maybe that's, maybe that's why she had that nervous breakdown a few yeah. years later. <laughs> <laughs> the same day. He was a bad man. <laughs> He's yeah. a complicated figure, but I sort of oh, kind of yeah. liked him a wee bit. Yeah, he does look like a thumb, though. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. be, in all seriousness, though, uh, in all seriousness, no, though. Oh, wow, I'm <laughs> fucking, I've broken myself. That, that WKD's got It's an emotional story. I said, There's, this is the strongest so, answer for tenants we've had so far. <laughs> I used to have a teacher for CDT, I think. That's a subject. Yeah, yeah, craft design technology. And me and a guy. Because oh, criminal defence there. <laughs> 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 well, that Casual right. dancing time. <laughs> essentially, the teacher for that, we we set a, like we set like you know, one of those little trolls yeah. on fire. Me and the guy <laughs> Lawrence Nolan, and we launched it at her. It set her like t-shirt on fire. Holy she, shit. She, she retired, and then like in a, a weird kind of serendipity moment. Was this at Bottom Year? Yep. Um, you animal. We. <laughs> I worked with her in a restaurant <laughs> later on and she was like, oh, Ian! And I was like, yes, who, who are you? She was like, I taught you at CDT. Oh. You made me quit teaching. <laughs> Holy shit! And Fucking I was like, hell. oh, I was like, I was like 11 years old. I'm so sorry. Like, so you're worried about that boy at Lee Cassidy. <laughs> that could be I am Lee Griffiths. Oh, no. 
Oh my god! Jesus, that's awful, man. Do you want to hear my teacher retiring story? <laughs> Go ahead! Oh, this is Mrs. Good. Dow. Oh, I, don't, I shouldn't have said her name. <laughs> Mrs. Dow. She probably, <laughs> <laughs> she probably dead. That's fine. She's probably dead. She, so, Mrs. Dow, art teacher. <laughs> she used to put uh, lipstick on her teeth all the time. And it was well, always put like. Put it there? She just, she'd be like, kids, do I still like? And, like, <laughs> and then she put some lipstick on her teeth, and then there was a point, and she was like, kids, I'm going to the stock room. And we're like, I don't think there is a stock room, but, right, so, <laughs> so we were just sitting there drawing an apple, right? And then she, like, walks past me, walks to the right, and in a stock room, is a cupboard. So she walked into the cupboard behind me, and it had, like, a little grate, where, just where her eyes were. And she was standing there, and I could see her just standing in the cupboard. <laughs> like, what she? She's in the cupboard, she's in the cupboard, she's looking out. She's like, I'm in the stockroom, kids! Like, she's fucking in the cupboard. So we had to phone down, like, no, you're not meant to use the phone when you're the, the, the yeah. kid. You're like, yeah. should we use the phone? Like, no, nah, we better phone. <laughs> Hi, yeah, Mrs. Dow's in the stockroom. <laughs> and then the head teacher came up, got her, talked her down from the stockroom, and we never saw her again. <laughs> What? Oh my god! She was nuts. But yeah, like, this is the thing you realise as an adult, like, what a high yeah. proportion of your teachers were actually nuts. Yeah, yeah. and I, I don't want to say, like, mm, nuts, because it's like, oh, that's bad, but also, ooh, nuts. <laughs> also, factually accurate. Yeah, at least you, at least you didn't set her on fire. We didn't set her on fire, but it was just the, the fear of her eyes right now. Like, just... like, before you phoned the head teacher, did you try and smoke her out of the stock? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, smoke her out of the stock. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the biggest tangent we've ever been on. <laughs> yeah. We have, who cares? Um, we scored... Well, right, second half happened. <laughs> we started really well. We, we did. started really we, we, well. We made lovely changes. Yeah. Callum Patterson obviously had 45 minutes in him, so he came on for Augustine. Um, Dowda came on for Kelly. We went 4-4 fucking 2. 4-4-2. With, uh, the, the drawback of that was putting uh, Walker on the wing, and he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Actually, the only all. man that was more anonymous than Callum McGregor today was Jamie Walker. I can't remember anything that he did. He definitely had moments in the first half. He like had moments where he was like chasing down balls into the channels. He had that shot, remember? It was yeah, but, like... It was, but, like um, uh, Prince put a beauty of a ball over the top for, for Jim. He pulled it back. Um, Walker had the shot. A uh, wonder save from, uh, from Gordon. And then it fell to Wanma, who was offside. Wanma was offside. Oh, <laughs> imagine that. So, yeah, there was one or two but things I where think, it was in the middle. I think, I think we're only saying that because we watch Hearts, so we watch Walker. I think McGregor probably did as much as that in the game. Yeah. Right, but, okay. we, but we weren't paying any attention. I, basically, I, I the, the crux of the matter is Walker didn't have a he good game. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, it wasn't as most effective, but that's because he was pushed out wide. Basically, after they made it 1 0, he was pushed out wide. And yeah. Walker yeah. by name, Walker by nature, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but right, you, your point about his relative merits to, to McGregor, I take that. But if you're just taking his performance as a whole, he was definitely better in the middle, and it was the same uh, against yeah. Motherwell last yeah, week. Course. Better as a, I don't think he's a winger anymore. It's not, it's not or it's possible criticism. that he just doesn't want to be a winger and doesn't give it his all when I, he's farmed out wide. I don't think he did anything wrong. It's not a huge criticism. It's just I've seen Jamie Walker be way more effective than that before. Mm. However, him pushed out wide meant that Jim could push up a wee bit more, and that's when we saw the best of Jim today as well. So you've, you've kind of got a bit of a quandary there yeah, between that's... Jim or Walker, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. If we can train Walker to be a winger again, then. That said, though, that, that was one of the good things about the the three five two because it meant that like Jim Prince and Kitchen were all in sort of like their natural position in midfield and Walker played well. Like I thought, I thought like that was an okay like the midfield and, and forwards were good in the three five two, but like the the wide areas and the defence less so. Yeah. So what we need to do is invent a new formation with I think thirteen or so players. Yeah. No, we can do that. We yeah. can do that. I mean, we've got a pre-season to look forward to. We can, we can, yeah, we can get that in there. We can get that work done. What Absolutely. are your thoughts on the things that were on the back of their neck? The GPS trackers. Yeah. I think they're good because it, it allows the sports scientists to look at um, how there far and how fast. There must be a much there smaller be one way. that you can put. Yeah, they're fucking huge. They're huge. They look like they're still yeah. got the coat hanger in their shirt. I know. I know. So, so, like, someone from Celtic had one. Maybe Brown had one. Tierney or, had one as well. Tierney, yeah. yeah. And it's, like, it's usually Walker and he walks with like that kind of like... Yeah, but Walker just walks like that anyway, oh, to be honest with you. It's mm-hmm. And it's like, you're not allowed to wear a ring on the part, but you're allowed to wear a fucking jetpack on the back. <laughs> of the it bugs me so every time I see it, man, I'm like, oh, there must be another way. Yeah, the ring's more, though, like... It, the ring's because I don't know it's going to rip your finger off. Oh, no, no, it's if, you, it's if you damage your, it's if you damage your <laughs> finger and it swells up inside the ring. Oh, okay, right. No, 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 Do you no, know you, you, actually, there, there's a thing, I can't remember what, the, what it's called, but if, like... Basically, if you catch your ring huh, on something, <laughs> then it can essentially just be take your finger off. Okay. It happened to uh, that American TV host. 
word you're looking for is degloving. 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 Thanks, wow. Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. Have you just been waiting out there? <laughs> no. You'll, oh, okay. You'll speak about it at some point. <laughs> um, yeah, but essentially, like, it, it can like just about take your your finger off. Do you okay. love it? Right. right. So really I'm fine. The rings are But so why I'm... did John Hill have tape? Right. So this is another long-standing bit. Jordan hates the heart sports scientist <laughs> oh, John Hill. I'm willing to. To be fair, I hadn't really seen it, and then I watched him fist bump Neil Alexander at half time, and I was like. The oh, rage grew inside. You are just the worst man. Yeah, I don't know why it is, man. <laughs> because I'm, of a fist bump. Oh, oh I mean, he's, he's improved. Fist bump. He's, he's no. improved so many of our players massively. Though. I'm willing to admit that it's completely unfounded. It's, it's completely irrational. irrational. It's yeah. completely and utterly irrational. Every time I see him, I'm like, oh, I hope he gets sacked soon. <laughs> like I really do. And then when he fist bumped Neil Alexander, I was like, oh, but he's one of the boys, eh? Oh, I was like, I hope they've got like financial implications that come up and they, they both get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> The first thing that happens with your son is that he gives you bones and lock. He <laughs> <laughs> came on, right? Why so does he have an uh, earpiece? The earpiece is one annoying thing. And then he came on and he had his fingers taped up. It's because it, it's your fingers taped up. It's because he needs to speak to the physio uh, in the earpiece. Just shout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why is his fingers taped up? And it was only the middle two. And both. Maybe he's because he's committed a murder. Uh, and he doesn't want to be caught. Maybe he's just I'm perfecting sorry, his I'm, fingering strategy. I'm sure he's a lovely guy. <laughs> And I know it's completely irrational. He's actually a bird and he's trying to <laughs> form hands out of feathers. Yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah, come on, man. Give the guy some slack. Give me, so, give me something he's about the guy. He's done more for birds than anyone else. <laughs> right, so he's done a lot for birds. Yeah, give me something to work <laughs> with here. Yeah, give him something. You seem to see, know see Callum Patterson, the shape, the build, the athlete that we the see today. The specimen that he is. That's down to John Hill. That's down to John Hill giving him specific training. See Sam Nicholson yep. working on his pace and getting faster yep. and faster. That's out of John Hill. Okay. John Souter coming in being strong. Like at Dundee United, he was weak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now he's sort of learned to use his body a bit more. That's because he gets a specific gym regime from John Hill. Fist bumps. Fist bumps, mate. So how Constant did he become John Hill? Because how old is he? Because I'm like, what let's makes a man John Hill? Hi, let's like, get to the so bottom of John Hill. <laughs> John, John so Hill's in his late twenties. Why are you not playing? There's him and there's a guy called Alex Threepleton who does the. Uh, I'm on yeah. board with that name. Well, yeah, yeah, he wearing a monocle. He, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Threepleton, you never. <laughs> <see> <laughs> no, 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 my name is Alex Threepleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does the video analysis. So he cuts. He, like, he basically. Um, so he's Fred, a square. Yeah, yeah. Nerd. <laughs> he's, he's essentially. I think he still comes under the name sports scientist, but it's him. Those are the, those are the little team. That's the little team. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't do the sports bit, and he's not really a scientist. He's basically just he, making he knows, some shit hot content about the opposition. He knows the pro zone password. I really, I like, I want to love him, John. But every every time I come in, I get this. Weird John Hill, page. right in. We'll go for a smoothie. <laughs> yeah, I, I think protein smoothie. Yeah, let's go eat some we'll spinach go, together, yeah, guys. Let's doesn't this. look fit. Which is, I'm not, oh, I shouldn't yeah. judge him on that, but I'm like, so you're the fitness guy, are you? I think he's oh, very fit. I think he's. I'm like, sorry, have you ever seen any PE teacher? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've made them all quit. <laughs> <laughs> They got very fit running away from you in terror. <laughs> On fire. Yep. <sighs> Abiola Dowda scored a goal. What oh, a fucking goal. What a goal. Abiola, right? See, I know you're listening. You, you did those goals up in the Ross County game. Yeah. That were both very good goals. Um, one was a, a nice little slotted finish, the other one was first great, time left foot. finishes, knows where the goal is. And then, and then this one, you took the ball back to goal. And ran past, uh, we said it earlier on, I think it was 14 or 15 Celtic players, and then slotted it in the bottom corner. It was like, that's what you look like on YouTube. I'm sure I saw him going past Billy McNeil at he some looked, point in that sequence. He definitely did. Yeah. Betty Ald was left in his wake. He, he, <laughs> went, he went through a wormhole in time and space, yeah. beat the Lisbon Lions, and then came back in front of the goal. Featuring Tierney. Featuring Cal. Tierney, whatever his name is. Yeah, jigged past Jimmy Johnson on the way in, and then uh, slotted it past Craig Gordon. And it was like, you know, that that's... That's you on YouTube, mate. Mm-hmm. Why couldn't you do that in real life all the time? You know, it, it looked like it, that was a proper strike. It was amazing. It was amazing. It if that was Patrick Roberts, then mini, mini the media would be spunking themselves into oblivion. He looked right very fast today. Yeah. He, he just is very fast. He's got great technique. He understands the game. It just doesn't just, work most of the time. It just doesn't fit for him at hearts. Uh-uh. And that's, to be fair, the only thing he did apart from that shot over the bar. Yeah, 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 but that was also very good and a really lovely touch from Ju on just yeah. the first time thinking. But he's got he's got cool scars with a cool story behind the scars. So what are the scar like stories? Oh, he's got two scars like under his eyes. It's no, it's a tribal thing. It's a tribal thing. Oh, yeah, shit. like at birth, him and all his like I think his eight siblings all got like little ah. cuts. It's all the is it is it everyone or is it just the male? 
I think it's all of them. I need to know actually, this guy. I actually saw <laughs> women in Glasgow the other day with the same scarf. Oh, we yeah. saw him in Princess Street with Prince. And we walked past them. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, with Prince. Probably. <laughs> little, little, little dead Corvette. Um, boo. Sorry. Fucking boo. Um, but yeah, we walked past them and then we were ah, we should have asked to get a photo with Prince and got him to take it. <laughs> oh no! And then set him on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to doubt that it's had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> He's currently in a stock room. <laughs> See, yeah. You talk about that wee boy you're sitting next to being a ship. He's straightforward. You're sneaky. Yeah, you yeah. present yourself as this lovely man. <laughs> but you're committing psychological warfare against everyone you meet. I'm just waiting for the the one Bon Mott that you, you unleash in me and I'm destroyed. I'm just a pile of dust here. Ugh. Evil um, witch! What's and, then, goal, and then Selig scored two more goals. Uh, yeah, oh, thanks yeah. to uh, Assisted Ably by John Suter. Oh, Suter oh, best oh, assist guys, no, um, don't turn no, around. I'm not kick, turning on that. Kick back will be full of Listen, hatred for John I'm, Suter. I don't think it will because he's a fan's favourite. He's an FF, right? Nah, it'll turn. He is amazing and I love him probably more than I love my own mum, right? But today he was wow. not very good. <laughs> she's a good... She's I'm not letting that slide. Your mum's a lovely woman. That's terrible. She's not going to fucking listen to this. One. <laughs> so I can see what I want. Um, yeah, he was... He is a great player and I love him dearly, but today he sold the jerseys no, twice. No. He did. He, he, did, he, did, he, did. he did sell the jerseys twice though. That, that's what it, well, I differ from Robert. I think like his other 89 minutes were very, very good. I thought he defended well. He certainly played the ball well. He was he was great, like sort of carrying the Some ball. Some things forward, he's like an passes. X-Man footballer. And he's like he's just in the position before yeah. you even know the ball's there. And he knows <laughs> what the pass is before even Like a fly. Like this eye movements faster than everyone else in the park. <laughs> This, this is vision is based on movement. Yeah, yeah solely. Yeah. This, this, like is as high, this is as high praise as you'd, like, I could possibly give anyone, seeing as like, he was my favourite defender ever, but he could easily be as good as Craig Levine with the right coach. And Craig Levine was fucking Someone already incredible. Said this. He's, he's the same said... sort of player, he's a Rolls Royce. He can take it down on his chest and go past a man and make a pass. But he needs to work on cutting that shit out because that was, that was dire. Well, right, so the first goal. Like I mean, to be I, fair, like Aline didn't. Aline well. didn't set a great example for him by like sort of spooning up a clearance that just went looping high in the air. Now it did land to Kitchen. He mm-hmm. then played the simple ball back to to Suter, oh, but then it was quite Suter a short pass. Though. That's what you do. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it didn't then, exactly help Suter. The but yeah, Suter like just turned into Bambi on ice and couldn't remember how to stand up. Yeah, yeah. And as I say, that that's the kind of thing that Dundee United fans were getting a bit weary of as well. They they warned me of that side of John Suter, but we've only seen it once, so that's enough to say bad day at the office, not this is his future. Mm-hmm. We've seen him consistently since the end of January now and he's been shit hot. And he will continue to be shit hot as well. It's just bad day at the office, it happens. And yeah. Yeah. The only won. reason he's not been our best central defender these six months he's been here is because Aline's been fucking on flames. Yeah, Aline, by the way, congratulations to Aline. He's in Team of the Year, PFA Team of the Year. Yeah, that's right. Which is great news, fully deserved. I think I, maybe a lot of people are saying Rossi should have been in there ahead of Aline, but I think Aline's a better footballer, but Rossi's had a better season, mm. if you see what I mean, because Aline was out for, what, five or six weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he had that hernia at the start of the season, and, like, you know, he sort of played. Played badly through the pain when we didn't have enough defenders before we got in Rossi yeah. to, to cover him. Uh, I think the reason why maybe Aline makes the, the team of the year is because he's definitely a central defender, whereas the, mud, the waters are a bit muddier with uh, Igor. Yeah. So that's how that happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I fully understand Aline. Because I watch him, I'm like, I think it's just because he's a central defender. You mm-hmm. guys talk about football where you're like, oh, he does this, and I'm like, I never noticed that. But when I see him, I just, uh, just for the uh, radio listeners there, uh, uh, Jordan made a face that goes like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but like, I, I, I get that, that you guys kind of understand it more than me, but like, I just see him get the ball and then just kick it diagonally across yeah. the park most of the time. All the time. And I'm like, and also, I'm just like, I wish your name was Alan. <laughs> yeah, because it was Alan Oster. Yeah, Alan. Do you remember that's what I said Alan. Him last 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 year. Yeah. Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan. Vince ready. <laughs> yeah, I just. I that's just, just, just something just... I know that it's still like Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan, your pies hated him. <laughs> that that's your homework for next week against Ross County. Is watch Alan Oster. Are you not going? I'm not going. Be it then. 
Rose. What about St. Johnston the week after? Oh, I'll be that game. Oh, but baby. Go. Baby could come. Oh, and Alan my could God. cut his eyeballs off. Baby Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Name it Abiola. <laughs> baby John Hill. My, my son, Abiola John Hill. <laughs> With a, a scar of portrait of Ian on his forehead. <laughs> I'll say I'm on fire. <laughs> Welcome to life. <laughs> <laughs> it only gets shitter from here, son. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> you are an animal. Um, um, what age can you make them a mascot? And also, he's been to a match, technically. Well, Ali Murray, your baby. <laughs> That's just like I was technically at a David Bowie concert in 1990. Yeah. yeah. Is that where I mean, you My mum was seven months pregnant. Oh, you, I, I was, was going to say totally. something different there. <laughs> what were you going to say? That's very good. <laughs> oh, oh. Like, complete tangent. There was like a lovely vine going around of like a sort of uh, local uh, news weather girl in America just sort of saying, like, and in a personal tribute to Prince, I got pregnant with my first child the night I went to a Prince gig, so uh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was Billy. <laughs> <laughs> that was Billy. <laughs> so imagine going to National TV, it's like, Prince made me want to fuck. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah. Prince Boabin, man, what a guy. <laughs> yeah. His his gigs were legendary. Yeah. <laughs> that guitar solo Prince Boabin did do yeah. while my guitar gently weeps. I did, I did, to be Transformative. Fair, it, it was always it was always gonna happen, but I am a big Prince fan, you know. And I, I put up on Twitter, I was like, but seriously, I put up a funny and then I was like, but seriously, oh, I love Prince, what a shame. And then I knew it was coming, but just deadpan as fuck. Some guy tweeted back saying, Oh, yeah, he's been doing alright in midfield. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I appreciate that. I'm gonna retweet that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah, then then where's the third goal? Lee Griffiths with oh. his uh, like well, basically sort of annoyed Lee Griffiths and then yeah, Lee Griffiths they, took advantage. Basically, yeah. like they, they started some beef and then uh, Griffiths tore him to sheds. Yeah. As Griffiths can do. Like, as as we're saying, we've we've got a slight fondness, but he is still a racist of Lee Griffiths. That's what he can do. See, like when you rile him up, that's when he plays better. Yeah. When he's he got when he's got that rivalry like, to play with, yeah. he loves it. He thrives on it. And you know, he didn't show up against Rangers in the semi final. But say what you like about it, he's a Hibs fan. So whenever he plays Hearts, he wants to destroy Hearts, yeah. and he always fucking does. And it was Jordan McGee in the League Cup game that he nutmegged, and it was John Souter in this game. It's just, yeah, it's annoying. But again, it was gifted by J Suits. So. Yeah, yeah. It was annoying because I, I think at that time we still could have got back into the game. But well, I mean that it was a really weird period because after they went two one up, uh, we put on Nicholson for for Prince. It felt like you know like that was a really attacking sub. We should be going for it, and then it was just really flat. Yeah, like, we really didn't create anything. We hardly even found Nicholson. Yeah. At any stage, really. He's a funny one this season, isn't he? Yeah, he's, there's there's spells of the season when you think you know this guy could come and play in the English Premiership, and then Jordan there's other loves times. Him. I love him. He's see see when he's on form, the ball sticks to his feet, and he's so fast and he's so direct. He gives the absolute shits to the defenders, but on the flip side of that, when he's not performing, he doesn't really offer anything. Mm. Yeah, I you agree. know, he 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 almost <laughs> plays within himself when he doesn't have any confidence, which is brutal because yeah. a guy like him should be full of confidence all the time, running at players, expressing himself. That's what I think he's all, when he's awesome, because he's, he's always trying like the hard thing, yeah. essentially. Right? He, so he, he always tries to go the long trying, way around. But he's always yeah. trying the, like, the hard way of doing something, but it's because he's, like, he's confident in his ability, mm-hmm. he's really good, and he can when he pulls it off, he looks amazing. Yeah. But the chances with a player like that is, nine times out of ten, you're not going to pull it off. Yeah. But if you pull it off that once, It'll be incredible. So you kind of have to support him. That's, 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 that's the thing. That's what creates yeah. a, the vicious cycle because, mm. like, the majority of football fans in a stadium hate it when somebody tries something totally fancy and it doesn't yeah. come off. They're like, what are you doing? Why are yeah. you trying that? Get so off the park! Because, because then, if it works and it's amazing. Exactly. Right, yeah, that's yeah. what football is. It's, think, enter- you, it's entertainment. You it start to fun. see his kind of confidence, yeah. not confidence, but he was getting really pissed off with how Hearts were playing earlier yeah, in the season. Yeah. It was visible during games. He hated playing in the same wing. As you on, yeah. you could see that that he mm. just thought he he was a terrible footballer, yeah. and you could see him just getting frustrated that he wasn't getting the right passes. Now maybe a few other players just came in that he maybe doesn't rate, and you can see that he's maybe going. You know what? I don't, he I don't fully believe in what's going on here. Point point um, yeah, like point one. I don't think he'll be here next season. I think he'll leave mm-hmm. in the summer. Point two. I'm so scared of him turning into David Temple and Mark too. Because that's the trajectory he's gone on. He's had a shit hot bit of form where you think, Christ, this guy could play for Scotland, this guy could play in the English mm-hmm. Premiership. 
and then he's dropped off, and that's exactly what Templeton did. It's the exact same, probably about the same age. Yeah. Templeton well. get an ill advice sleeve tattoo as well. Oh yeah, Templeton's tatted. Yeah, is he, he's is got he, the tatty guy. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. I met him. Really nice guy. But yeah, I, I'm scared that he will go in I that same direction. Well, which... I think Hearts fans jump on his back as soon as he like, as soon as something doesn't come off, and it's like suddenly he's but a then, shit. But then, but, but so Hearts, Hearts fans, if he was Spanish or Nigerian. He wouldn't have been gifted so much yeah. time by yeah. Hearts fans, you know. He's wee Sammy. But he's wee Sammy, eh? so I, he's been, he has been given a lot of time. I think he's done enough previously to earn himself some respect from the fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. he's, 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 he's so brilliant. like Templeton. Yeah. It's like Templeton because Templeton, uh, when he was playing up front, well, playing in the same team as Kevin Kyle, was unstoppable. He was yeah. unplayable. Sam Nicholson at times this season, at times he was last a mini season. Macro Messi. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He was unplayable as well. Um, but then, you know, Kevin Kyle went out of the team, David Templeton dropped in form, Sam Nicholson just dropped in form randomly. Um, well, oh. pretty much when Osmond Sow went out of the team, to be honest. I wonder. And it is, it's, it's just, it's getting very similar for me now. I'm kind of worried that he won't fulfil his potential. I, I think he still will, but it's, you know, there's warning signs. I wonder if the way that Robbie and uh, Craig Levine set up their kind of stall, like you always see, see like defenders and defensive midfielders coming out and saying how much they've helped them. You never really see an attacking player come out and say, hey, Robbie Nielsen's really... Wanma, maybe, the yeah, um, yeah. other week. But I wonder if it's... Not the impetus needs to be put on attacking players. Um, possibly. More. I think in a weird way, like, um, Billy King not being here for six months has actually hindered Sam Nicholson yeah, away because it means we no... can't have the variety, we can't sort of mix and match. And... He, he knows that Zanata is not going to push him for a place in the starting lineup, whereas Billy King would, yeah. essentially. So, yeah, you know, lack of competition is maybe... So you think he's not going to be here next season? I, I, I just... <laughs> oh, he's so upset. <laughs> oh, just like a few... Um... I've got a funny feeling that he'll, he'll want to move. I think Patterson's probably going to be the same. I think they'll uh, both want to make their move now. Yeah. I think they've maybe, they maybe feel, and you can kind of see it in performances, they maybe feel they've reached a ceiling at Hearts. But who too? And they want I to mean, burst through it. Like, chat that Aberdeen... No, Ab- no, Nicholson won't go to Aberdeen. Aberdeen don't have the money to pay for Sam Nicholson. He's definitely so. going to go like a mid-table championship sort of outfit. Yeah, yeah. I would it like, would. I'd quite be happy if like Patterson was like, I'm going to England. So I feel like he's like, he's good. Patterson's like, got the premiership. Well, yeah. Sam, Sam Nicholson yeah, is like, like, Sheffield Wednesday as fuck. I would I say it's, so. It's that kind of move. I could see Patterson making like a, a Watfordish sort of thing. Or yeah, like, maybe, maybe a... Like a Brighton when they go up. Yeah, Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough yeah. seem to be keen on our mm. defenders for some reason. That'd be quite um, cool. Yeah, I, I think I think both of them will probably leave. I think Walker will stay. And I yeah, think we'll, we'll, we'll build around that. I think Walker will kind of always be at heart. I it's all speculation. <laughs> it's all speculation. It's all speculation. Spe- you know, it, like, it'd be great. Like I could really easily actually see Patterson playing for Valencia. Like, like, yeah. like they, they love like a sort of marauding right back. like yeah. River Plate or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine that. Oh, was out of like, nowhere. Yeah, yeah, right. Coming up on Sky Sports News, Callum Patterson is saying, for, oh, Boca Juniors. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, man. Be like him that arranged it or something. Like, yeah. It seems like oh, a, imagine how many a lot of himself, get. man. Like, <laughs> yeah, he ran to Argentina to broker the deal himself. <laughs> he literally ran there. You're so right. Like, his temperament would fit in. Beautifully oh. in a Buenos Aires derby. Perfectly. Oh my god! Oh my Something god. else, man. Like I just like even Cal Patterson's Edinburgh derby record. Like he scored three. He's been sent off in one, and he should have been sent off in all of them. And it's, it's at just... the sound of a cool, refreshing tenants there. Oh my god! It tastes amazing. <laughs> <laughs> With fresh water from the Loch Katrine. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine Callum Patterson growing out his hair and wearing an Alice band? Well, you don't have to imagine it, mate. He did it last season. No, but properly grown out oh, here. Properly like, grown like, 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 like a shoulder length. Oh, like a penny goal. <laughs> that would oh be. My you know how every, God. every British player that goes to Spain, mm. I wonder if the Spanish guys are like, let's see when he grows his hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like every guy that goes, like, <laughs> apart from what I was in Yeah. Ian Hart was like short back and saying, Tom Gray. Hey, amigo, this is what we all do, you like, know? Yeah. <laughs> Let's tell them about the Alice band thing. The guy who put like, join Sky Sports, and he's got his, like, terrible hair. He's, he's the worst Gareth Bale. He seems like the most boring guy in the world. <laughs> so, he really does. Only for, close to by Michael Owen. 
Oh, oh man. Mario Colon is definitely the most boring guy. No, but he's not the most boring. He's just the worst guy on earth. Have you, you know what the, my, my favourite Mike Colon in Madrid story is? Yes, he would drive. He would drive out to the airport every day to buy English newspapers that were available at a newsstand across the road from his hotel, <laughs> but he didn't know because he wouldn't speak to anyone. My favourite bit of Mike Colon patter was like three weeks ago, and he was uh, he was like sort of talking. I think it was a Man City game or something. And he was like, oh yeah, the players nowadays, they just, they just get paid ridiculous wages. Michael Owen owns a street. <laughs> he literally bought a street and gave every single house to one member of his family. <laughs> It's like, mate! That's, that's, to be fair, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. that's, 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 I've seen the street, I was taken there once. <laughs> that street must be a patter void. Everyone oh, with all those Michael Owen jeans wandering around. So, absolute patter chasm. <laughs> Have you seen the weather today? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> well, well, when, he, when, he, when he, the story of, like, he lived in a hotel and when he was like, hey, he living in Madrid, like, was where to stay in a hotel. It's like, no, he didn't have to, you could stay anywhere you want. And he was like, yeah, so I'd just come home from training and there was only one English channel on the thing, but it wasn't tuned in properly on the TV, so we just watched Spanish. On mute. And then we couldn't understand it, so we just put it on mute. <laughs> and the baby was only six months old, so we had to turn the lights out. So me and my wife, I've gone into Gary Barlow now, but... So me and my wife, so me and my wife, Tony. they just lay in bed with the lights on, the Spanish TV on mute, with this baby asleep in the corner, like... You're asked in and one of the most but beautiful but cities in the world. On like a billion pounds a week. Like. My favourite one is how he doesn't believe in films. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He doesn't like watch them. Films. He's watched like, like one like, film five, five years yeah. ago. Five, <laughs> five, five <laughs> films is. And his whole life has watched five films. Favourite one, Bad Boys. <laughs> watch it once. Second favourite, Bad Boys 2. <laughs> I just get bored like 20 minutes. Like, uh, yeah, also, I get bored. bored. I don't believe in films. First seven minutes, watch a his tour of Dubai <laughs> from a helicopter. <laughs> Fucking it. D- Dubai. Oh, oops. Is it like Dan Samson? Oh, it's, it's nowhere near as incredible as that sounds. Um, no. Listeners, if you have a spare hour in your life, watch Daz Samson Road to Eurovision. It is. It's, it's on YouTube. It is the greatest documentary of all time. Yeah, that's that's without dispute. Yeah. Okay, one last thing in the Celtic game. <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, one, my, my favourite thing in the, in the second half was uh, Kieran Tierney, the, uh, the 60s throwback. Um, like uh, no, Walker. he's not a sixty throwback. He's from the sixties and he's been cryogenically <laughs> frozen. Sorry, sorry, yeah, you're, you're right. right. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. He's Celtic's captain America. I'm with you. I'm on board. <laughs> right. So Walker's chasing the ball down the down the the left wing. Tierney comes across really quickly, gets the ball ahead of him, kicks it out for a throw-in, and then turns around to the referee and fucking exhorts him. It's like, <laughs> no, that's our free kick. He hit it. He just believed it so much. It was so method. It's just like in his heart, I could tell that he believed that the, the Walker had put the ball out. It was like absolutely not. <laughs> It was what wonderful. It was wonderful to see the conviction in the young man's eyes, <laughs> in, his, in his old haunted eyes, as he remembered all his friends that are long dead. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Uh, Mel Gibson film, Forever Young. Yeah, it's essentially that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel bad for Tierney though, because see, like three weeks ago, he would never like dispute a referee's call. He was always quite sound and just sort of like, right, I understand, I understand, man. It's Probably called right. them sir. And now, now he's been completely and utterly, Celtic. deeply Celtic. Mm. Celtified. Exact certified. Yeah. Went through a, a strong process of a certification, which involved them being locked in a windowless room with Scott Brown. Ah, oh, yeah. Literally every time you listen to anything about Scottish football, which guilty pleasure, I listen to Scottish football podcast every he single night. He listens to them, but he still the sports about football. I still know nothing about football, right? And I was just... Mirren were still in the Premier. <laughs> 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 He texted me a few weeks ago when we were playing this the other Saints. Uh, he was like, oh. he was like, oh, you coming to the match on Saturday? I was like, yeah, sure. He was like, oh, playing the old mighty Saints. And I was like, yeah, yeah, St. Mirren. <laughs> like, they're not in the Premiership anymore. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I don't have yeah, like, cup game, right? And at the time. But each week, you, you probably listen to like 10 hours of like football podcast. I don't know why. So like when I go home and I'll be cooking and I'll be like, oh, sick on sports sound. I don't know why, because it's like you don't have to care. Yeah. But it's just like noise in the background, so like an hour of like I can just not care about stuff. But I don't know anything more about football. Just you and your son like like a re- real bonding experience. We'll sit down every weekend and watch the football and discuss like the different product that he's using in his hair. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, John Jordan's got this thing about <laughs> if his son is born, but like obviously oh oh sorry guys, but um, 
if his son is born and can batter him? Like, you're really scared that he'll grow up and be like a Raj. And this is one reason you. why I wanted a girl. It's Papa John's, by the way, that texts me. Oh, nice, good, good. Oh, PJ's, nice. So I didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl, obviously. And then I was like, oh, it was a girl. Because I had this fear that if it was a boy, what if he's just like, what if he just grows up and, like, is the guy sitting next to me at the football? And he's like, yeah. oh, he's fucking a bit of an asshole. Like, Jordan, I believe in your ability to raise a female Raj. <laughs> You could easily <laughs> knock utter fuck out. That's my worry, man. <laughs> that I, what if he just grows up and it's like, oh, he's like, you know, you see kids that are like, oh, he's nothing like his dad. Ooh, it's a mentalist. Like, Hitler's dad wasn't Hitler senior. Like, he wasn't Hitler plus two. Like, he must have. Like, how, how, how certain are you of this? Well, right, so I don't know who Hitler's dad was, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty right, sure. We're getting into Jerry Ray Corbin territory here, mate. No, um, fucking Ken Livingston territory, making oh. sweeping statements about, like, uh, Hitler's beliefs and motivations or and family. Anyone rag in life, right? It's not like, oh, it's a famously mad serial killer. It's not like, oh, he obviously, because his dad was a famously mad serial killer. So there can be offshoots in the generations, like. Yeah. So well, he Andrew might, Dallas, obviously, and you, Dallas. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, so he might like just be born and he's like, like son. he's yeah. nothing so it's like not me. not a perfect science. And he could kick fuck out me. That's a fear. Yeah. That is, that's oh, so one thing we've not mentioned, Jordan's old pals left since we... Swanny Donson. Big Swanny Donson. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my bros. You were mates. Mm, but... <laughs> And he, he never, we never reached out to him. No, when he was at we Alex. shouted at him low. It's like, Daddy, it's the guy. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> you easy being wheezy, Daddy. Hey, no, nothing. Uh, he was bad for us, though. He was. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Well, I think we've, we've mined <laughs> every piece of pattern we can out of that football game. Um, it's time to think strongly about who's going to get songs. Oh. Strongly think. Yeah. Mm. Who's strong? Who's, who's strong has big shorts? <laughs> that's a good observation actually yeah right? yeah no, that, that's I true. love him so hard yeah he's great we've already decided listeners <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's the real American it's Perry Kitchen our all American hero yeah uh, oh no, no he was very good today yeah he was He's he's been consistently good but since he came in I don't think we've won a game <laughs> 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 so you know there's that yeah. there's, you know he's basically a jinx but like a, an entertaining jinx that we can get on board with hey we we fluked a very fluky win against Aberdeen mm-hmm. he runs very right. fast sideways yeah oh my god he's side, he like he sidesteps as fast as like yeah. Yeah. Griffiths sprints <laughs> it's weird he looks like an athlete like, like a, not many of our players look like a genuine athlete. Just to get like he, he just looks hard as fuck as well. Yeah. The way the way Scotland has decided, it looks like a cornerback running past the line of scrimmage trying to track where the where yes. the, You're saying where words, the but going. I, I don't know what no, they, they are. None of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 Rob enjoyed it. Yankee football, mate. Yeah. Soccer. <laughs> Song time. Song time. Song time. Yay. Yay. Right. So, uh, <coughs> as we said, we are going to sing about the American. Ke- Perry Kitchen, Kerry not Kitchen. Kerry Pitchin. Yeah. Yeah, Kerry Pitchin Pot. Uh, Robert, I think you should go first. I have to apologise in advance, really, but I'm going to go for it anyway, guys. All right. Okay. <clears throat> and so Perry can play. <laughs> He's never in late. He's a private wee guy. He gesticulates. Because we've got Perry Kitchen from the USA. <laughs> Gesticulates in a song, <laughs> man. <laughs> Honest to God. Yeah, mine is embarrassing. That was Perry. good. That wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you are lying through your fucking teeth. Well, so, it's time for you to do better. So, um, so this came from Robert's shout earlier. Yeah. So his shorts are long. And like his hair, he tackles hard. He's got no flair, simply loving this Perry Kitchen time. <laughs> simply loving this Perry Kitchen time. He might vote Trump, but that's okay. He'll be your pal, unless you're gay. Simply loving this Perry Kitchen time. Simply loving this Perry Kitchen time. Ooh. <laughs> Perry Kitchen time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sensation. That was excellent. Yeah, that yeah. was excellent. Right, okay. 
with uh, a Nine sharp minutes. turn in uh, the aesthetic. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a disturbed song. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. Oh, wow! Striding through a midfield of opponents, his politics are unclear. His name is Perry. His social media strategy is a bold one. This one follows no one. His name is Perry. Scuttling sideways when suddenly he snaps you. Violently he snaps you. There's no getting past him. He's swinging like Kanye. Get up, get down with the kitchen. Get up, get down with the kitchen. Get up, get down with the kitchen. Perry is a gift. Cut head straight from DC. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fucking hell, that was intense. <coughs> I was uh, done with the sickness by the stone. Ow, 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 it's killed me. <laughs> well, it's yeah. certainly Jason. Jason. Fucking hell, come uh, on, Jason. Mine is nowhere near uh, what you guys have <laughs> achieved. <laughs> You will always find me in the midfield that tiny. <laughs> you will always know my name is Kitchen Preceded by Perry. <laughs> you will never see me on Instagram. You will always find me in the midfield that tiny. <laughs> you will always know my name is Kitchen Preceded by Perry. <laughs> yes! A clear winner, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's won it. Yes, <laughs> always, always, always preceded. Yeah, <laughs> every time. <laughs> well done, Jordan. Yes, that was fabulous. Yes. Congrats, man. What? Yeah. Nice. nice. That, we had the best one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the Lambrini girls just want to have fun. <laughs> Cool. Well, that was. Did you just make a better glass sound with a can there? Um, yeah, it was a world famous tenant's lager. Tenant's can. lager it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's probably the the way those cans are made. They're just so robust. They're really mm. robust. They really and well seal made. in the flavour. But yeah, also recyclable. <laughs> so because you know, tenants cares. Yeah, tenants does care. Good. It's what a company. A yeah. great company. Yeah. I think we should all enjoy some lovely tenants lager, don't you? I yeah, so I do. Yeah. <laughs> this, this podcast is looking for a sponsor currently <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah thank, thanks again to Ian Greenhill Zoolan mm-hmm. to Jordan tell us where we can find you on what's your social media presence oh. um, at O Jawbone cool. O-H Jawbone cool. as, as a collective at uh, something 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 it's not at something says. At something yes. says, yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. I know you're something right. with a zero. I know your Twitter handle says. better than you do. Yes, yeah. that is. That yeah, is right. Yeah. Fabulous branding. Yeah. <laughs> We're good at that stuff. Yeah. 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 It's what we do as a job, brand things. Yeah. 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 What's your what's your Twitter? At Joseph Danger. Nice. Cool. Uh, do you, what's your Instagram? Joseph Danger. A Perry Kitchen's watching. Nice. <laughs> watching. What's your uh, username on Peach? Uh, Joseph Danger. <laughs> I do have Peach as well. <laughs> really? <laughs> You suck. Yeah. <laughs> you still have Elo. I still have Elo. <laughs> I get emails from all the time like, oh man, I'm such a sucker. Are you on Google Wave? I am. <laughs> Google Wave, I was on Google, Google Plus. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for anything. You've got to try it in case it becomes big. Yeah, you want to be the first in. <laughs> Angry should bring back Bebo. That's what we should do. That is, that is made a bit, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, what's your Twitter? Oh, I'm, I'm at Arif Borthwick. What's yours? I'm at Nicole Hay. We are at We Have No Cares. That's true. Yeah. We, we have no Instagram no. or Facebook or anything like no, that. No, it's basically just Twitter. Yeah, and, and Tumblr. Oh, yeah, we've got Tumblr. Kids is... like Tumblr. They yeah. do. We have no cares.tumblr.com. Yeah, and you can now find, as, as well as iTunes and uh, our straight RSS feed, we're now on Stitcher as well, because someone guy. asked me during the week, and I looked at it, and it only had to fill out one form, so I was like, okay, let's go on Stitcher. <laughs> so we're on Stitcher now, guys. Yeah, search Stitcher for We Have No Cares for all your stitching needs. Stitches. Stitches. Snitches get stitches. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, know, you better fucking believe it. Anyway, you can also email us, which is wehavenopears at gmail.com. We feel a bit lonely. We've not been emailed in a while, probably because we hardly ever do podcasts now. But yeah, there's a cause and effect going on there. There is, yeah. 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 What we need is uh, some really good brand management to get our names out there. Amen. Yes. Yes, there we go. Cool. Enthusiasm. First stuff we should do it every week. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's on. Oh, yeah, we should. <laughs> We've fallen at the first hurdle. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. We'll probably be 
Yeah, back before the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm missing the last two home games, but we'll work something out. It'll be fine. Me and Jason can take over. You and Jason, yeah. Yeah. That would, that just, would be from the hospital. Be like a four hour <laughs> yeah. ramble With from nothing, a hospital. Literally nothing about football. No. <laughs> and we would literally triple our subscriber base. <laughs> yes. Okay, but until that time, Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. Steve Crawford. <laughs> Oh!